Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and it's finally time. I am going to do the much requested color and chat from this big bad boy Disney Vitro, which is Disney stained glass. This is a French Disney coloring book by Hatchet Heroes and a whole bunch of people have wanted to see me work in here. So how I figured I would do this. I, uh, for the last little while, have stopped doing multi-part color and chats. I just don't think that a lot of people find them exciting, but there is no way I could ever get a page done in this in one sitting, in one color and chat, in one anything. So what I'm going to do is four color and chats, and hopefully that will be enough. I'm literally going to put an hour timer on my watch, which you'll be able to see, and that's how long we'll color in each segment. And to make it interesting, the chatting portion, I have some Disney rank battles planned. So I've talked about this before. I'm going to today talk about my favorite princesses. So I'm going to rank them from least favorite to favorite and tell you why while I color because I just think that's something fun to talk about. So obviously, if you're not really a Disney fan, you're not going to love these next four videos. And I totally get that. So... You might still want to watch anyway, maybe watch Double Speed and Muted, but otherwise we will see you at the end of the month for uh, the next scavenger hunt, hint, hint. But hopefully, if you are a Disney fan, you will enjoy these videos, and hopefully we actually get done in four shots. So, yes, what else was I going to say? Oh, and before I do that, I'm actually filming part one on the 19th, which means I have 19 successful days of not buying any books, reading or coloring. I did outline this one because I bought an art book to use to cut up. I don't know if that counts. So let me know if you think that counts. Otherwise, I'm going strong. We are doing good. That means we have 45, 55, 65, 71, 72 days left to go. So we are chugging along there. But all right, let's just open to the page and start talking about this. I don't want to hit the monopod. Okay, I, like, you can't even see this in screen. This book is so massive. I don't even think I can get it. Let me try to move it up a little bit. There's my arm. Beautiful. Yeah, you're not going to be able, I really cannot get the whole thing in screen. So that's fun. This is my uh, Golden Girls bookmark that I just shoved in there. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is putting this post-it on the other side to write down my colors. I am doing Ariel. I just thought this would be a fun one because it shouldn't be too, too many colors. But yeah, we're gonna talk about her today in my ranking. Phew, okay. So I'm actually going to be using, before I put my timer on, I'll do a little more chatting. My Prisma colors, I'm probably going to just start with the 48 set. I do tend to just go to these first because as you can see, they're getting really low and I don't wanna make my other ones get low. It's foolish, I know. So we're gonna start with here and if I need any more colors, we'll go in there afterwards. And I'm using my Tagal sharpener. I got this book on Amazon UK, I wanna say. They have it on UK and France. And sometimes they have it on Amazon US, but the US is the Spanish version and it's called Vitrales instead of Vitro. So look out for that. I'll try to link it below. We will see. I'm ready. I'm excited. So let's put our timer on. Literally one hour. Can you see? It started. So okay, what you'll see from me in this, these books, first of all, I try really, really hard. So that's number one. I'm going to start doing um, the water. And I'm probably going to start with these two shades of aqua. So it's aqua marine and light aqua. I try really hard. So I do blend everything and I do shade and I do all of that in here. And therefore, therefore, arr, therefore it takes forever. So we'll see. We'll see. Again, I'm not even sure if four parts will be enough. I don't know if I have a plan. If it takes longer than that, we'll see. Disney princesses. Okay, so I growing up was a princess girl apparently because uh, later in life I was thinking about it 
and I realized that I hadn't seen a lot of the movies that didn't have princesses. By now, I've seen all of them except Fox and the Hound, which I know causes some outrage, so that's fun. Oh, also, I expect my answers will be very controversial, and some people will be very mad, and I understand, and that's fine. And if you want to say your favorites in the comments or fight for your princesses, that's completely fine, too. Everyone has their own Disney op opinions, and that's okay. So what I do, sorry for, can you see me now? Oh boy, I have to at least start in frame. I always just leave a little white spot, when, and then when I blend it in, it'll like create shadows in different spaces. We'll again see how this goes as we go, and make sure we like it. Let me get my blender out so we're ready. I'll blend this one right away just to show you. So to blend, I just push, 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 push. And then I just get the color onto itself. And then obviously it gets rid of all those line works. And then we wipe it away. So I don't blend right away usually, which I probably won't now. I'm also realizing, hold on, I'm gonna throw my cutting mat back there just so that it doesn't pick up any ink from the the next page anyway so what you're gonna see for me in these books or in this book on this page is that I jump around a lot so I'm gonna do some some water right now but then I might jump to her hair or might jump to the background it will all just depend and my method, you can barely tell, but then when the whole thing is done, you'll be able to see it a little bit. Also, I saw some tips that when you have a monopod like this, you should clip it to something else, but I don't have any room to clip it to somewhere else. So I'm gonna have to think about that and get back to you. And hopefully for the time being, it doesn't get too much. And if there's teeny tiny pieces, sometimes I'll just color it entirely in the, in the one color. And I also put more or less pigment just to mix it up so yes all of that okay so to princesses apparently I did not watch non-princess movies until I was older which is interesting because I never really considered myself like a super girly girl back in the day but yes let's just get right into it number 14 my least favorite princess is Merida from Brave I'm ranking by the way the 12 official princesses well, actually, 11 official princesses. Moana's not official yet, I don't think. And then Anna and Elsa. But that's who I'm ranking. So Merida from Brave is my absolute least favorite princess. I cannot believe how many people like her. I cannot stand her. So for me, Merida is just like so whiny. The whole premise of that movie, also, this is going to be a spoiler for any of these movies. I'd be surprised if you haven't seen them or heard about them, whatever, so I apologize for that. But the whole premise of that movie is Merida doesn't want to listen to her mom, so she turns her into a bear. I, I don't get it. Like, obviously, arranged marriages are annoying, but she would really go against her mom in every way. And it's silly because she's a child and children need to listen to their parents a little bit, even if they don't want to. Like, I don't get it. I don't know. I never got her hype. Um, I guess she was one of the first princesses that was like, oh, look, she has frizzy hair. Look how realistic she is. But to me, she was just super whiny. And I don't know. It just annoyed me. I don't like her. At first, I thought, like, we saw her movie in theaters and hated it right away which never happens and then I was like well maybe I'm just being too much like let's give her a chance I don't know so we watched it again and still hated it like Samuel and I both fell asleep watching this movie so I'm not a fan of Brave at all so I don't know if I've already lost a bunch of you but that is just how the cookie crumbles here. I don't know. Do, like, it n doesn't bother anybody that she just turned her mom into a bear because she was whiny. <laughs> like, when you're a child, you have to listen to your parents. 
I'm being repetitive, but it makes me so mad how many people are like, oh my goodness, she's so wonderful. Wow. No, she sucks. I'm going to just move on from her because I don't even want to talk about her more. So coming in at number 13 for me is going to be another surprise, I think, and that is Elsa. So Elsa bothers me because why does she treat her sister like that? Hmm? It frustrates me so much that she made Anna like live her life alone for really no reason. And then she like runs away from everything. And then don't even get me started on Frozen 2. I was not a fan of Frozen 2. It had some good songs, but the plot was terrible. I'm so mad that Elsa left because she was supposed to be queen. Like she can't just run away from her responsibilities. So if we were just going based on like ballads, obviously Let It Go is a great song. Uh, but other than that, I can't stand her. Makes me mad. So there's, <laughs> there's that. I don't know, again, maybe I lost a bunch of people already. And I, obviously, a big part of this to remember too is that I'm watching this as an adult already. So if, you, if anyone's like offended, like, oh, but this one's my favorite princess for this reason, or like, this is my daughter's favorite, so it's my favorite. Like, when you're watching this from different points in your life, you're gonna react differently to these characters. So for me, Elsa just doesn't do it compared to the other princesses. She's a fine character overall. Like, I, I enjoy her movie. When we get to talking about where I rank the movies, it's not that low. So that's not it. But... Yes, okay, number 12 is Pocahontas. Pocahontas, I don't know. That movie is also very dry, in my opinion. She has some of the best songs. I'll tell you a story about Pocahontas. Colors of the Wind. So Pocahontas came out, what, 95-ish? I think, maybe even 94? Whenever Pocahontas came out, I was a young child and I would perform Colors of the Wind. So I had a whole song and dance and I performed it for my grandmother. And it was very, a dramatic performance. And it literally made my grandma pee in her pants from laughing so hard. So <laughs> I do appreciate the songs from Pocahontas, but overall I'm pretty meh about her compared to the other princesses, her movies, meh to me um also man that movie is not very pc is it it's rough so i don't know i don't know if that plays a part in my ideas or not obviously i try to judge these movies based on their own time period but it still is rough to watch the whole Savages song, things like that. Not the best. So, but everyone's saying like, oh, it's not accurate to her real story. Obviously, like it's a fairy tale retelling. So, I don't know. Number 11. Am I going way too fast? Yeah, we're only 10 minutes in. Maybe I should slow down a little. What color? So, yeah, as you can see, I'm just going back and forth between my two blues. I was thinking of adding in an extra blue, but I don't know if I will. And I just put the different blank spaces in different areas. Here, I'll in fact do some blending. Can you see all of this? It's near the top of the screen, but I think we can still see it. Um, when I'm blending, I'm gonna try to do all of that same color so that I don't mix them in too much but obviously it's blending so if you mix them in that's also fine but watch when i'll do just the dark color and then you can see how different it is blended versus unblended i'm getting instagram likes yeah i have a tip for anyone um 
if you do a lot on Insta well this is people that use laptops I always have my laptop open on my desk and I have been chatting with people a lot on Instagram and you can just pull Instagram right up on your computer and then you can chat from there and it's easier than chatting from your phone so that's what I've been doing but then a lot of the times when you hear like the notification sound in my background during videos it's Instagram on my computer so that's that but yeah I think you can tell already the big difference it makes when you blend it out now again I am not the most talented pencil worker or the most talented at layering and blending but for me this is trying hard so I think it almost is these books or this book not these this is one book is good for me at my skill level because I can focus on each little segment and just mixing the colors from one segment to the next is almost um it's obviously its own technique, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people that do this book that just straight color, and I've seen a lot of over-the-top, amazing, gorgeous work in this book where they will shade every tiny little piece with six colors, and I'm like, wowie. So this is my in-between. I don't know why there's like a white spot shining through. Where did that other pencil go? Oh, they always roll under my... Yeah, so just cover that little white spot up. Um, I don't know how it's looking on camera. Let me peek, actually. Hmm. I think it's looking a little bit less blended on camera than it is in person, which is interesting. But when I take the picture at the end, it'll be fine. So, yeah. So this is a super, like, this book is humongous. It's crazy. So that is why this is going to take me at least four videos. If you want to know my schedule for the upcoming videos, today is obviously counting up to my favorite princess. And then we're going to do, what order am I doing them in? Next, I'm going to rank all the Pixar movies, just all of them, because I think there's like, what, 18 of them. So we'll just rank them from least favorite to favorite. And then I'm going to do my favorite characters that are not princesses and then finally i'm going to do my favorite movies animated movies that are at that point are probably not pixar because you'll know my pixar already so that is my plan for this little mini series and again hopefully we come close to being done which i don't know if we will so let me also get a paper towel and I just rub off the extra onto the paper towel quick and it will mostly catch all of the little debris so yeah so some places I did the double uh, white spot like this was a really long one we'll just wipe that off and I think that's all of the dark blue then I also will just take a piece of paper, let me, and then rub my blender on it to get all of this dark blue off of it. Again, it doesn't matter too much because we're just blending another blue. So if it, we had some mix up, it would be fine. But I might need to be putting more ink on some of these, not ink, pigment wax <sighs> yeah but I, I always jump around so like I doubt I mean I might try a little bit harder for the video to stay in one spot but in general I jump all over also I am praying that you do not just see my hair and that it's not over the screen problem is like on my phone, the camera is on the lower end of the phone because I keep it on my left side. So in order to get the camera on the other top end of the phone and get less hair in the way, I would have to switch it to my right side, but I'm a righty, so then I would hit it with my arm even more than I do now, and it would be a mess, so I don't know. 
just hoping that I'm far away enough. I don't have my bun on top of my head because I definitely lose track of my bun a lot. So. I don't know. I feel like we're some of these white spots are not blending as they usually do. But again, I just go back and add a little more color. It's fine. It's just for the overall effect. Like, I think you're kind of seeing my vision already. And if it's too obvious, we'll adjust. So, uh-huh. All right, number, let's keep going a little bit. Number 11. I think I can also tell some stories about these guys because I just have tons of Disney stories because I'm a Disney gal from my whole life. Number 11 is Snow White. A lot of people these days don't like Snow White. And a lot of people are like, oh, she just was waiting for her prince, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, that was kind of like the idea back then. <laughs> like this was, what, the 19... 20s and 30s when they were making the film so it wasn't a great time to be a lady so there wasn't much else to look forward to so being a princess like this was a dream you know what I'm saying so I'm glad that kids these days little girls especially want more than just to sit and wait for a prince but I don't fault kids those days for finding this appealing her voice is pretty grating though. So, I always loved in her movie, there's a turtle and he's very, like there's actually that turtle from Snow White is in one of the Color by Number books. And he's so funny where he like crawls up the stairs and then all the other animals run away and then he like just made it to the top. And then he falls all the way down, yeah. So, that, but Snow White, for whatever reason, like when I was, again, five, six, seven years old, Snow White must have come out on VHS and they were making a big deal out of it. And I remember my grandma got me and my cousin these like commemorative Snow White lithographs and commemorative Snow White uh, watches. And that was really funny because she was like, you better keep this forever because this is going to be worth so much one day. And I hope it's not because I did not keep it forever. But it would be pretty funny if it was. But um, that. And then I also remember the first time I went to the parks, maybe the second. I went in like 94, something like that. Um, my first ever pins, I had the Seven Dwarfs. So I had this all seven pins. And again, I really wish I had those because I would not be surprised if they actually were worth something because I don't even think pin trading really had started yet. So those guys were pretty cool. So then I, for our honeymoon in 2018, we actually waited like two, three hours to see the seven dwarfs at the Christmas party. And I'm still not sure if that was a good use of our time, but I was very happy to do it. So Snow White overall, herself, medium, but her movie, it's okay. I like it more than I would expect to like it, I guess is what you could say. So that's my number 11. Okay, number 10, barely beating out Snow White, is Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty... Aurora, as we say, uh, Briar Rose, whatever you wish to call her. Like, to me, she, especially out of the early ones, was so beautiful. I don't know what it is about her, but when she's, like, frolicking in the forest, she's, like, very striking her art style. So I always appreciated that. But I never really cared about her either way. Meriwether, the fairy, again, reminded me of my grandma a lot because my grandma was like short and had like pudgy cheeks and was very sassy. So I enjoyed Meriwether for that. But again, Briar Rose, I really like, I honestly like Prince Philip. Obviously Prince Charming didn't even get a name and neither did Prince Charming in Cinderella. But Philip, he came through, he fought that dragon. 
I like him a lot. Again, it's a weird story, and I get that that's not ideal for your first kiss to be under a curse, whatever. But I thought it was pretty cute that they were, like, destined to be together the whole time because they were prearranged to get married anyway. So that was fun, I guess. And I really love the dads in that movie. They're really funny. So I'm not a huge Maleficent fan, though, which I know a lot of people are. First of all, the Angelina Jolie movie, I hated it. I didn't end up seeing the second one because I really didn't like the first one. But the, I didn't, I don't know. I never liked her that much. She had a bird sidekick. You know, I don't like birds. So that could have been it. I don't know. But meh. They're definitely better villains out there in my opinion. So. Okay, blending time. I'm hoping that this is looking good on camera because I'm liking it already. I'm also impressed with myself that I stuck to this one color for so long. Part of my problem in general with any coloring page is that I tend to do the biggest areas first and then when it comes down to the details, I just want the page to be done with because usually I've like been working on it forever. So then I just rush through it, but obviously details are very important. So hopefully that does not what happened here. And I think that's one of the reasons that I've started to like try to go back and forth between the different colors, because that way I get some of the details going as we go to so. Also, I think I have a plan. I think I'm gonna do this whole border in different shades of purple. I know I should probably do the shells in purple because that's what her shells would be. Oh, I just noticed, again, I don't know if it's on screen, but there's shells at the top and there's starfish at the bottom. And I don't really like that. It's weird that it's different, but okay. We'll see what we color that then. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do purples around the outside, obviously her hair red, flounder and flounder colors, green for her tail. So I just really need to figure out the shells and the stars. And then I don't know if I'm going to do the circles in different or just keep doing purples for the circles. Obviously purple is my favorite color, so I might just keep doing purples for the circles. I'm also going to write down my colors right now before I forget, even though it's not a shocker what I'm using. So aquamarine and light aqua. Ah, oh, I almost put a W. This is the water. I don't think you can see that. Oh, you can almost see it. So that's just on the post-it on the other page. I think I did all of the dark blue. Now we're gonna do some light blue. Yeah, so in our little interlude, I just want to again thank everyone who is new to my channel and has been subscribing. If this is your first video, hey, cool, stick around. I've been having such a great time making videos these days and like really sticking with it. And I hope to continue to make videos for you for a long time. So, it's my little intermission. Now back to princesses. We have 34 minutes left. So I guess we need to keep going. Number nine, we are in the top 10. Obviously we were with Aurora. I can never say her name either, Aurora. Uh, number nine is Cinderella. She beat out the other princesses because rumor has it, and by that I mean this is what my parents later in life told me, that as a young child I was obsessed with Cinderella. And that was my repeat movie, like I'm sure Frozen is for a lot of kids these days. 
and that I would just watch Cinderella over and over and over again and I would sing all the words and like I wouldn't even need to be in front of the TV to know what was going on. I don't know if I remember that, but I believe my parents. So for that, she got bumped up to number nine. Um, yeah. That's really it. I don't know what else there is to say about her. Obviously, like Cinderella's Castle in the parks was pretty awesome too. There's pictures of me like posing with my autograph book in front of her, like the mural in the castle. So that's fun. <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. Also, these days, like literally earlier this week included, I always get the song stuck in my head. Now I'm not going to remember it, but it's probably for the best because I don't want it stuck in my head. But the song the sisters are singing in like their little music class before um, they get the invitation to the ball. So sing Sweet Nightingale. Okay. I, I sing that all day, every day, and it's really annoying because it's like, they don't even sing it well, so it's like an annoying song to begin with. I guess it's also when she's scrubbing the ground, the bubble song, so I just keep singing Sweet Nightingale. That was a movie I hadn't seen in a while, and like I watched it back, and I'm like, wow, this is a vicious movie. So if you haven't seen Cinderella in a while, you should watch it. It's pretty vicious. I'm coloring at weird angles to stay out of the camera. Okay, number eight. This is another one that's controversial because I think for people my age, she's still very low on the list, and that is Jasmine. I don't know. For whatever reason, like the music in Aladdin is top notch, but I never really got obsessed with Jasmine. Maybe I didn't like cats and like I didn't care that she had a tiger. I feel like that was a big selling point for a lot of people. Whenever I watch Aladdin, I get past the songs and then I'm like, I don't want to watch anymore. <laughs> so, sorry, but that's how I feel about that. But she's, I enjoy that she wants her like independence too. I think maybe like what's the difference between her wanting independence and Merida? is what people might be saying to me right now. And you might be right, but she never tried to hurt her parent. Sultan is great. He's so cute and adorable. And I really love when characters have relationships with their parents, especially I'm a super daddy's girl. So she is a daddy's girl too. So I do appreciate that. So that's what got her up here. And plus her movie is, again, it's pretty great. New live action. What? Why? I don't understand. Her extra song was a fine song. Like, it was a nice message, but it didn't make sense. Like, it didn't go with the movie, the feel of the song. Also, I saw Aladdin on Broadway. I was lucky enough to do that. Not the best show I've ever seen. I really didn't like the extra songs that they put in. And when I saw it, the Jasmine and the Aladdin were both, like, Broadway rookies. Not the best I've ever seen <laughs> is all I'll say about that. So maybe that tainted my views too. I do say though, my mother-in-law, I always call her Jasmine. And I don't remember why I started, but I call her because we say that she's breaking out to be her true badass self. So sorry for the language, but it just works out that way. No, I think what happened was that when I first met Sam's aunt, I said that she was Snow White because she's like so cute and small and has like the daintiest little voice and like literally was doing dishes. And I was like, wow, you're like Snow White. And then his mom was like, who am I? And then we decided Jasmine. So that's where that started. But so I like Jasmine. And obviously growing up when I did, Jasmine was big, but she just doesn't make it any higher. Just number eight. So. Sorry, girl. Number seven, Mulan. Growing up, I didn't like Mulan, but I think it was because I thought I was a hipster, which I was talking to Emily about this 
that I used to hate popular things just because they were popular because that's what a cool hipster kid would do. So I didn't like Mulan for a long time. And then I watched it again in my 20s and I was like, no, I really like this movie. And again, she's a daddy's girl. She went to war so her dad didn't have to. I appreciate that. She's pretty tough. She, I love that she's like smart too, which obviously I'm sure that there are, there's a case for all of them to be smart, but I really appreciated when she like masked out how to get the fireworks to go off and, and hit her target. So I enjoyed that a lot. And obviously she has a good supporting cast too. Eddie Murphy back when he was super funny. I love Cricky. Here's a fun Disney slash cricket story. In college, I took a bug class. Uh -huh. Yes, so it was a class all about bugs. And I feel like it was bugs and like the relationship to society. I don't remember what the exact title of the class was. But we actually had to take crickets home for the weekend and then we had like a snow day so it ended up being like six days we had these crickets instead of three and my crickets ate each other so that was fun but I mentioned this because I named my crickets Jiminy after Jiminy Cricket, Cricky after the cricket in Mulan and Evangeline which was a firefly I know but from Princess and the Frog so um yeah I had a little Cricky the cricket and I really love Cricky the Cricket from Mulan. And he's a little lucky cricket. So yeah, crickets, if you keep them in a little cage for too long, the females will eat the males. So be careful about that. And it was also so annoying because the crickets will chirp. So we were only supposed to have them a little bit. And when we had them longer, we ended up keeping them in the bathroom with the door closed in an effort to shut them up. But I don't know if any crickets lasted the snow day i think a lot of crickets were consumed by their casemates so that was fun i guess so it's definitely a memory that ended up being disney related uh-huh so that's mulan okay number six we're getting into the heavy hitters and i think there's still a lot of surprises to come number six is Belle. here we go it is another daddy's girl you would think I would relate to Belle more than I think I relate to Belle. I love reading. I've always loved reading. So I do kind of feel her that way. And I also would not fall for a guest on. And I also would love to protect my papa. So I definitely get all that. But for whatever reason, she just... She herself was never it for me. I think it was just another case of like all the other characters in her movie entertain me more than her. So, I don't know. But I do enjoy Belle. I just, I think also Beauty and the Beast is very overhyped. And again, being the hipster that I am and was, I shy away from it for that reason. So, oh, I'm mixing colors. Let's go back to the darks first. But it's still a good movie. A lot of good music. I absolutely love Angela Lansbury. I think I've discussed before my love of senior citizens that fight crime, essentially, or solve mysteries, which Angela Lansbury is one of them with Murder, She Wrote. Great show. Um, who else? I don't know. Cogsworth. Lumiere. I enjoy Cogsworth. I always enjoy a nervous character. I think we need more nervous characters. Because I'm a nervous lady. So I can always relate to that. Uh-huh. I don't know. There's so many like, give a girl a library and you'll have her forever. And yes, 100% did I wish I had that library growing up. But I don't know. Is that enough? Is that enough to win me over? Maybe. Just maybe. I don't know. Okay. Number five. I don't know if anyone's like doing the math, figuring out who's left. Number five, and somebody who I was surprised was up this high when I was thinking about this, is Anna from Frozen. 
So, I like Anna a lot. I think she is a lot more realistic than a lot of princesses. Oh, Samuel is coming our way. Nope, he's not. He's just going past us. Cool, cool. Hey, Sam. Okay. Um, I think that she is a lot more realistic with her whole, like, crazy hair, down-to-earth, whatever. And I really love how in Frozen the plot was like, oh, we're in love. We're going to get married. And Elsa was like, what? And then I like how she went to save her sister. As an only child, I can't relate. But I can imagine what that's like, I think. Maybe. So I enjoy all of that about her. Um, I love Kristoff. I love, like, she's so friendly. Some of these princesses. Looking at you, Queen Elsa. Not very friendly. <laughs> uh, I also, when we first saw Frozen, Olaf was a lot funnier than we thought he was going to be. Because, like, we saw the commercials and I was like, oh, he's going to be really annoying. But he's really funny. So that definitely helped. Um... I don't know if I like all of her decisions in the second movie, but I think I also just don't like the decisions that the movie itself made. I'm mad. I was surprised that she didn't have any powers, but hey, she's the one that's stepping up to like run Arendelle, right? So gotta respect her for that. But I don't really have too many stories with her since she's relatively new, but we saw that movie like with Sam's family on Black Friday one year. Well, the year it came out, which was what, 2013? Something like that. So, when we saw that movie, I remember my first reaction being like, I don't understand. All of these songs are so specific. How is anybody going to sing any of these outside of the context of the movie? And then obviously, like, let it go blew up and was just always on the radio i don't know if i've ever heard a disney song on the radio before or after that oh hello noodles now we have another visitor hey girl hope she's gonna lay on her bed good girl it's 11 15 at the time of filming this so yes p.m that's why everybody is home and all around as you can see, it's kind of rubbing off the black lines, but it hasn't done that until now, so I'm not really sure why that's happening now. And as you can also see, we're about 40 minutes in, and this is how far we've gotten. So I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. I think I'm going to switch colors completely and do some smaller details again so that we want to do that. I think I'm gonna do her skin, and I think I'm going to do my two peach shades which very obviously are light peach and peach. So let me write that on my little post-it. Light peach and peach skin. Beautiful noodles. Don't eat your feet. She sucks on her feet and that's not great. So yeah, same process down here though, is I'm just gonna color in the alternating colors in different spots. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's what, but you just kind of guess and make it whatever you want it to be. Like it looks like that should be her tail, but I think I'm just gonna make it more belly. Are you coming back in here? No. What are you doing this time? No, He's just walking back and forth, making noise in the background. Let's see if I care about that. Poof. My all on screen still, it looks like it. I'll adjust a tiny bit in case I get down here. Look at how wiggly her fingers are. They kind of freak me out a little bit. But that's fine, so. All right. So, number four. We're really, we're getting close. Number four is Moana. It's hard to put such a new princess so high on the list. But I really appreciate Moana, and I feel like all of the more modern movies get more modern storylines. And again, she now has a really good grandma relationship, which if you've been hearing, a lot of my stories revolve around my relationship with my grandma. So I definitely appreciate that. And she's super brave. 
like, oh my goodness, I would not be able to do most of the things she has done in her movie. And uh, she, I don't know, she just got stuff done. She cares about her family, of course, but she knows what she needs to do. She saved them all, okay? It's a really good movie. I really enjoy it. And I really like Moana. So she's made it all the way up to number four, which, yeah. Yeah. Again, newer movie, so I don't have too many stories about her in my life. But there's that. I'm going to take a sip of drink. And I actually have a sweet tea today because my water bottle's empty. So I figured I'd finish this off instead. I really only drink water or sweet tea, but 98% of the time it's just water. So this is like a little treat. <sighs> okay, number three. Do we have any guesses? Do we remember who's left? If you've paid attention, you'll know number three might be Tiana. I love Tiana. I love Princess and the Frog. I feel like for whatever reason, like this era of Disney movies is underrepresented in a lot of places. But Princess and the Frog is a really good movie. It was actually Samuel and my first date date. Like we kind of had a first date before that, but not really because the first date before that was an activity that we just ended up going together. It was like, we didn't plan it, but like we planned to go to this movie. So it was kind of our first date. And it was kind of like, he bought me a gift that year from Prince and the Frog. So it's always been just a special movie to us because of that. But then it's just a good movie. Like I really enjoy it. I love Mama Odie. I love Ray and Louie. A lot of great music. It's just a good time. Apparently I'm just gonna do all of her skin right now, which I guess is going to be good to get it done. So great, that's what we're doing. But yes, so I met, met, I obviously, no twice, both times we went to Disney. So in 2013 and in 2018, which we being Samuel and I together, because again, I've been to Disney. As a small, small child, we actually got to meet Tiana, which was super awesome. So the first time we met her was in like New Orleans Square. The first time we went in 2013, there were more characters all over the place. And the second time we went, they were mostly like in their designated areas. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, so I don't know, we definitely met, I think we met more people the first time. But I don't know. But we met Tiana and I actually like any of the characters that don't have big old costumes on talk to you. So I actually like told her that that was our first date and now we were on our honeymoon. And she's like, wow, that was certainly a long time ago. And I was like, yep, nine years. She's like, oh my. So it's always awkward to talk to the characters without their, well, to talk to the characters that can talk back. But that was really fun. So that is my Tiana story. I really like that movie. Like if you, a lot of people haven't seen that one. If you haven't seen that one, you need to watch it. Such good music, such a good time. Highly recommend. Okay, got 15 minutes left and we've made it to the top two. Now, there is some controversy around the top two. And basically the controversy is I think my favorite princess has changed. If you had asked me for the past like 15, 20, 30 years of my life, who my favorite princess was, what my favorite movie is, the answer would have been the same. And recently I decided that that is no longer true. And I think there is a new favorite in town. So I'm just gonna go right at it. Number two is Ariel. Blows my mind, can't believe it myself. I've always loved Ariel. Little Mermaid has always been my favorite movie, but I just don't think that is true anymore. And that's so hard for me. So Ariel, of course, was one of the biggest princesses when I was growing up. I was born in 88. 
her movie came out in 89 so she's been with me my whole life and I related to her so much one I always had like big hair obviously my hair was curly and her hair is straight but I just like really appreciated the vol voluminous hair that she had which was actually probably just a product of being a movie from the 80s but that's fine and again daddy's girl she she's got a relationship with her papa in there that's up and down I still to this day cry at the end of this movie when she has to say goodbye to her father I can't take it I, I cry every time it makes me so sad um I'm a collector I collect trinkets I just want all of the things also I love being underwater I always would say that like if I could have any superpower it would be to swim under or to breathe underwater so I would never have to get out so for years and years, I just loved Ariel. I also love the color purple. And Ariel is frequently represented by purple because of her purple shells. Like I really liked her purple and green color scheme. Again, I think it was just, I wasn't super, super girly. So a lot of the princesses were very pink, even though Ariel did have pink dresses too. I just loved Eric. I thought he was one of the coolest princes. I loved Max. I loved Sebastian. I loved Ursula. She was always one of my favorites. She's also super purple. I absolutely love the music. My favorite Disney song, even still, is Part of Your World. So, I, I just, I love it so much. Sam's, one of his favorite Disney songs is Kiss the Girl. Unrelated, but I just figured I'd throw that in there. And, yeah, I love Ariel so much. So, it really hurts me. When I started thinking about it, and I think she lost her top spot. But really, all of my Disney opinions are subject to change. Because, like I was saying before, when you're watching these movies at different ages and different points in your life, you're going to feel different things. So, very much Ariel will always be way up there. But she was edged out. And if you are remembering or knowing your Disney stuff, that means that number one at this point in time is Rapunzel. Yep. Yep. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Rapunzel has edged her out and it's so hard, but I think it's true. I love Rapunzel so much. Again, she's represented by purple and yellow. I love that. Oops. I just made a mess. She is super into art. Obviously, I'm super into art. She, like, Ariel has all these siblings, and Rapunzel is much more alone. And growing up as an only child, I felt much more alone. Um, I don't know. I just love her. I love her positivity. She has some really great songs, too. I really enjoyed the TV show about her. I mean, there was a Little Mermaid show, too, which was great. Both of these are on Disney+. Plus. The TV shows. So if you have not seen their TV shows, recommend those too. But I don't know. She edged her out. I all again with the hair thing. I always had very big hair, which relates to both of them. And yeah, that is my favorite princess right now. So I would love to know who your favorite princess is. Do you have similar views to me? Are you like your crazy lady and you have the exact opposite views? I would love to know because again, I feel like a lot for a lot of people, they tend to love who they grew up with, which is could be another reason that Ariel was at the top for so long. I think it's hard to deny that all these new princesses are really awesome because just modern storytelling trends, like they're getting much better plots and they're getting to show more of their personality. Um, luckily, Ariel also had her own TV show where she got to show a lot of her personality, um, and that was nice, which again is why I recommend that. I think our page is coming out pretty good, though. Whew. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the idea of this, because again, as you can see, we're going to have, I expect, all three more episodes coming up let me just peek in the camera make sure we're still doing good yep we have about 10 minutes left 
So I'm gonna just, I guess, keep working on more, more water. I'm shocked how quickly that went. So I'm just gonna put those back. I'm gonna reach across. I'm gonna take another sip. of sweet tea yeah so are you surprised by my answers who is your favorite princess well, let me know down below it's just so cool I what I love about Disney one of the things I love the most is that everyone has a different favorite and like everybody is someone's favorite so like for me my favorite movie well, I don't want to spoil that list, but we can be, it's safe to say that Little Mermaid is up there as one of my favorites, but I know people that their favorite movie is Oliver and Company. What? That's weird. <laughs> like that's so, it's a lot less popular, but obviously they're still like super big fans. Uh, obviously there are a lot of people that are mad at me about Fox and the Hound. I'm pretty sure that's my sister-in-law's, one of her very favorites. And she can't believe I haven't seen it yet. And she's right. I don't know why I haven't seen it. She actually bought me the DVD as a gift a few years back to encourage me. And I still haven't watched it. I think I'm afraid that the dog is going to die. Does the dog die? Just spoil that for me, please. Because I can't handle that. So, like, there are people that are absolutely love with, like, Bambi. He doesn't even talk for most of the movie. But... Yeah, I just love that about Disney and that everyone forms their own memories to different characters and movies and times and that for for people who consistently love Disney, like you can like track your own life along with it. I think that's super cool. So I'm not really ashamed to be a Disney adult. I don't think I'm that bad though, but... I really don't think you can be that bad. Like, if you like it, that's not a thing that hurts anybody you liking. So, no shame in that game. But I'm saying I don't tend to purchase everything. But I think that's me being picky more than me being, like, ashamed of it or anything. Like, I think that I just only buy things from characters I really like. And it's hard to find sometimes. There he goes again, walking back and forth. I don't know if you can hear him, but I hear him. I'm distracted. So, whew, I hope that those of you who wanted to see me color in this book are enjoying it because we're going to be here for a while. I think that if I don't finish it in the four hours, that I will just have to speed up the last bit and finish it in that fourth little episode. But we're doing good. I really love this page. This is one of the pages I was like afraid to do because I'm always afraid to do my favorite stuff. There's actually a second aerial page in here that I could have done and it's one that's like cut around her more. Like on this page, you can see that it's not a full frame square. But for whatever reason, I was just really drawn to this one. So that is what we're doing. But. I'm trying to think of if I have any more specific princess stories. Oh, I just did the same color twice in a row for no reason. Crazy. Yeah, we met Ariel in Disney too, and she like I had a Little Mermaid shirt on, and she's like, oh, "Flounder would love that shirt." And I was like, "Okay, ha ha ha." So fun. Oh, I this is a fun aside. Disney keeps buying other things and then like pretending that their princesses are gonna count, and I don't like that. So like Anastasia, I don't like her. I watched that movie again two or three years ago, and I really didn't like that movie. So everyone's like, oh my gosh, she's a princess now, she's a princess now. Well, not my princess. It's 
So that's why you didn't hear her here. I know that um, there are some princesses, like even Sophia the First is one, or like Princess Elena from the TV shows. But again, I was too old for them when they were coming out, so I don't really know who they are either. So if you like them, let me know. <sighs> yeah, it is 11.30 p.m., getting sleepy. I don't even, it's not that I'm tired, it's just that my voice can't handle it anymore. So this is actually one video I'm not filming all in one go, because I can't handle it. So hopefully I do have time to film frequently, just not all in one go. Ooh, my lights just flickered. I think the air conditioner kicked on and it made the lights flicker, which was weird. But we got three minutes left. Obviously this first video is a little bit longer than an hour because I did the introduction stuff. But I think next time, if I had not said it, we're gonna try to finish the water and then maybe we'll do flounder. Maybe we'll do her tail. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep mixing it up and keeping it fun and fresh. So, yeah, this is basically going to finish the month of August for us. Oh, that's also a really good reason to have picked this, which I didn't even mean to, but I like to do watery themed guys in the summer. So I know that my specific theme for August was supposed to be princes, but I don't know if there are any prince pages in here. I, that's another thing that like the princesses are also the most represented characters Disney has and sometimes that makes me sad because there are so many great characters. That's why I love all these French books because they do tend to have characters that are less represented even if it's just one page and every single book will have 10 princesses but we gotta start somewhere. So. Whew. What? I like breathe deeply and Noodles is looking at me. I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. You've made your video debut now, Noodles. They've all seen you. Sleeping. Is that all you do? She says as she's going to sleep right now. Let me sharpen this one last time. See. I think just using pencils in these books is part of what takes a long time. I did actually do a page in um, Ink Tense. I think it was Ink Tense, but it does make the paper crinkly using water medium. And normally that doesn't bother me at all, but like this book is like my holy grail book. So I'm trying to keep it as pristine as possible. So I did not want to do that again. Um, I've heard of other people doing a lot of other things in here, but for me, for definitely this page, we're just going to be sticking to these pencils. Again, I'm going to try to work on where I can clip my monopod because I think we're shaking a little bit, which I am sorry about. But where I keep it right now, there's just nowhere it would reach. I'm debating seeing if I can like clip it to my overhead light and have it like hang down, but the light isn't actually directly over me. So I don't know if I can get the angle right, but yes. So yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of video number one, please say your favorite princess. You might've already done that. Maybe that's cheating. Please say, what can we say? Nothing. Please say, no, that's fine. Just let me know your favorite princess. Maybe say, I made it to the end. And then your favorite princess. And then I'll think of something better for the next one. But yeah, usually, oh, perfect timing. Exactly at our one hour. <sighs> so yeah, there it is. Let's stand up and get as much of it in camera as we can from top to bottom. That's how much we've done. So I guess this half and then hopefully we'll do that second half in the next video. Uh, we'll see if we can get this done in four parts. Keep our fingers crossed because I don't have any other ideas after that. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you're going to stick it out 
through all four parts or if you're probably gonna skip it whatever the answer is I understand but I definitely had a few requests so thank you so much thank you so much for watching thank you for making it to the end subscribe if you haven't like this video comment down below all that fun stuff bell notifications whatever the normal spiel is and I will see you in two days